this is Magnar and welcome to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. I started modding Rome 2 a couple of days after it was released and released my first small mod shortly thereafter. Since then I've probably spent over a thousand hours evolving that mod into what is now one of the largest historical mods for Rome 2. That's called Mike Magna Mod, for the, some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, if you're not, there's a link down below and feel free to check it out and any feedback is always appreciated. Throughout the course of creating this mod, I've modded all sorts of areas such as uh, created around 300 units, done some texturing stuff, battle mechanics, a little work with the animation tables, uh, campaign AI uh, and diplomacy, um, and a number of other things. And over the course of these tutorials, I will be trying to show you everything that I know how to do in the way that I do it. My way probably differs to most people, uh, and because uh, I've got a focus of speed and efficiency, I have a lot that I want to mod into the game. Uh, it's probably going to take me a long time, so being able to do things quickly and efficiently is very important. But more than just how to mod, I'm also going to show you how to spot mistakes that you've made and more importantly how to find and fix them. Uh, but even more important than that is how to avoid making them because they can take up quite a bit of time searching for them and cause a few headaches along the way. If you have any questions throughout the course of this modding series feel free to post in the comments and I will get around to answering them as quickly as I can. And if you want me to focus a tutorial on any specific area, again, in the comments, and I will add it to the list to be done. These, this tutorial series will be done in very short videos. I, I want to allow you to get the information you want without having to listen to a bunch of other stuff which isn't related to the specific uh, topic that you want to learn. Um, it will be done in a chronological order, so if you watch from the start, then, you know, but it'd be you can do that, but there were, you won't have to do that, and you can kind of skip ahead and f look at just certain things that you want to learn rather than having to watch the whole series. Enough about that, let's get on to the actual structure of the Rome 2 game. You can see here, this is the Rome 2 directory. Mine's in, not in the default location, but that's not important. Here we have the application, the exe file, and this is where a lot of the, all the backend stuff is done. We wish we could mod this stuff, but we can't. And a lot of the bugs that you find with vanilla are in here. Then we go into the data folder, and here we have a lot of pack files. A lot of files called pack files, should I say. All these are pack files, anything with this symbol, because in my folder. Uh, called pack files, and this is where all the data is kept. Here, we have stuff like sound and music, uh, movies, models, data stuff, language stuff. So I've got English, so I've got the English language files, and a bunch of other stuff, which you can explore at your leisure, <laughs> and we'll get through in the course of these tutorials. Also, you can see here all the mod pack files. The mod that we create, the mods that we create, will all be in a pack file. Um, so you can see here, I've got a lot of other mods already in my folder. Some for just checking how they do things, and a lot just for my own stuff. The other type of file that the game uses is called a start pose file or an ESF file, and there is one for each of the campaigns. Here you can, here you can see the uh, the pro three prologue campaigns, the main campaign, and if you have Caesar on goal. There's a Caesar and Gore campaign. There's a start pos file. Oh, I don't need this anymore. It should look like this. You'll have a start pos file. And in this start pos file, essentially it just defines the starting conditions for the campaign. Which factions own which provinces or regions, what buildings are in each settlement, starting armies, starting diplomatic relations, starting treasury. All that kind of stuff is done in the start pos file. In the next episode, uh, I'll, I'll do a 
a quick analysis between the two main tools that we have available to us to mod Rome 2 with. Um, and so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.